Hello, my friend Stefan. How are you? Very good, my friend Fabrizio. <laughs> Great <laughs> so, to be here. Yeah, <laughs> thank you so much to be part of this uh, uh, Medinea program community and uh, to share your experience uh, with mm. us. It's something very extremely precious. Something which is very special with you, it seems that you can go through immense complexity with this simplicity through it and you have a healing effect when you play on the people. And I could notice it, this <laughs> in so many places. Do you have a secret? <laughs> well, that I don't know. I'm very interested in finding how to get to wherever I want to get. And, and for that, I noticed that in fact, it's very easy if you follow the steps. It's like going from here to there. You need to make many steps to get there. And most of the time we think we are already there and we try to, to make a step that is too far away. So I noticed that a lot of time the, the only problem is that we don't start with step one. So my quest in a way uh, is to always find where is the first step. Then everything can be very clear and then nothing is impossible. In this context, we are talking about dramaturgy. You are one of the rare drummer for sure, but uh, also uh, musicians in general, uh, which has this capacity to make the tension beautiful. Can you share things with us about uh, how you build this universe of tension and resolution and uh, how you travel through it? Mm -hmm. That's a deep question. <laughs> um, there is a balance. Let's say you have black and white. So if you want to go to the black side, you need to, in a way, feel the white side and, and the other way around, uh, going from very huge contrast that may be uh, loud and soft, slow and fast, regular and irregular, all those uh, different things. They are always linked. For example, when I want to play very fast, I think and, and feel very slow. And if I want to play very slow, I think and feel very fast. It can create a lot of tension, but it's balanced because it's linked to the opposite. Can you define some moment in between with the vibrations? Can you connect it with some cultural aspects, some cultural connections? Yes, exactly. It came quite naturally because of all the exper experience we had with Akamun, playing with so many amazing musicians from different cultures. And each time I was facing something completely new where I felt like a complete beginner at first. So that was always uh, hard to deal with, but at the same time it was the most rich experience I had because every time I had to find ways to understand that, to integrate and to be honest by playing it and not trying to do something that I didn't understand completely and was trying to fake something. So uh, that was very interesting. And all that is actually in the way I explain rhythm now because of those analyses I did and all the experiment I did for myself, that became more and more precise. I remember that I understood something very interesting when we went to the Pygmies. Right before we went in the forest, if you remember, we were in a, in a small village and there were two young kids playing and a little girl was hitting with a very big piece of wood and she was doing this kind of rhythm. And I was looking at her and I was understanding that, okay, she's doing right, right, left, right, right, left, right, right, left. And because that, uh, that piece of wood, it's so heavy and the tempo is quite fast, physically, she cannot make it uh, regular. It has to slow down a little bit, the two same stroke. And that what give that very special feel. So I was practicing it, doing a very big motion so that I couldn't go easily fast. And, and by experimenting this, by copying uh, things that I saw, I started to understand how elements like that, that are from the physical uh, laws, 
can lead to a specific uh, feel and groove. So that was very interesting. And uh, the concept of short and long that I explained yesterday with the dot and the dash, uh, that clearly comes from the Balkans. And we played a lot with Bulgarian musicians. That's a principle that helped me a lot to integrate all those irregular rhythm. One day I was talking with uh, Nelson Veras. We were in the plane and he was telling me about two different claves that were played together in a specific sound. And, and he was telling me, yeah, it, it's quite difficult. And, and then I was trying it and, and I could do it. And he was asking me, ah, oh, but how do you do? And that's how I started to analyze. Uh, ac actually, I'm looking uh, with my eyes, inner eyes, because I didn't have it for real, but I was looking at uh, a series of dot and dash, and I was singing the other clave with, with my ear. So I, was, uh, I started to understand that I was using two different senses. And from that, I developed this theory that now I, I can explain and make people practice, and that gives very good result. And also adding the kinesthetic uh, sense. You have three different senses that allows you to do three different things that would be completely impossible with only one sense because the, the brain cannot deal with all that. Whereas when you use three different senses, it makes it maybe not easy, but doable. For example, these three different senses. Uh, for example, if I walk in three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one. And I do that can be in my ear. And then I can see uh, short, short, long, 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 short, short, long. I can visualize a, a, a third thing. So this, I don't think about it anymore. This. I listen to it. And then my clapping, I just visualize dot dot dash dot dot dash. So that allows to do three different things. That without this would be very hard to do.